scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Bible says in the beginning, listen carefully. It didn't say in the beginning was a formula. In the beginning was the word and that word was with God and that word was God. He said he was with God in the beginning. Then he says, through him, all things were made. And he says, nothing, including a destiny, nothing was made that was not by him. So Satan knows that the making factor in men's lives is the word. So when he comes to this gentleman, he doesn't have any business with your tie or whatever. He looks for where the word is. And the Bible says, Satan cometh immediately. If Satan steals the word from you, you will pass him and he will pass you. He has no business with you again. It is the one thing that he will seek and fight for. Show me a man, my brothers and my sisters, listen very carefully. No matter what Satan has done in your life, if the word of God can come upon you, if the word of God can be understood and received and diligently applied with faith, you will make nonsense out of the devil. It's only a matter of time. Is someone getting what I'm saying? Because you see, we have to be careful. Church people right now don't grow again because we are used to the religious activity of the world. We come and sit down and our Bibles, we are writing notes that can change our lives. But there is a demon of religion sitting on people. Many people have written their miracles in their jota and yet they remain in bondage. Many have written the formula for their lifting and yet it looks like heavens are closed many have written the formula for their prosperity many have written the formula that will wipe the tears of their family the bible says ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth so don't get used to religion oh it's time for the word oh yeah let's judge acts chapter this we write if it's a nice word you say mm preach preacher and all those kinds of things we share the grace and people go back and nothing changes let me tell you religion is a demon it's not just a wrong philosophy i believe there is a spirit of religion that makes people hang around god but never benefit from him are we together now yes you can get so used to the I invited sister A I invited brother B and you sit down and don't get blessed yourself or I am a worker you can be standing behind the mic singing when I raise a song and the revelation that can transform your destiny comes and you sing it out of your life while you are not listening and focusing so we have to be sensitive my brothers and my sisters God is not a magician there is an exact way men are raised in this kingdom. Can you cry in one minute again and say, I cause distraction from my life. Lord, whatever it is that makes that I do not understand. You can imagine how brilliant people are, but the moment the word comes, they become unfruitful to it. That means it's an attack. I don't believe anybody here is dull. Some of us, academically speaking, we are very sound people. But the moment it comes to the issue of the word, there is an attack. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This kingdom life that we are living is a supernatural life. And it's a life that will continue to call for contention. That is the reason why you can finish an encyclopedia but not be able to read 100 pages from your Bible. What is so difficult about this thing that you cannot read is because there is a spirit behind it. I can give you a novel that is twice this page and some of you will finish it in one week and you don't have time. It's not that you sit down and you will keep reading and within one week you are done. But you pick this to read and see what happens. You will, it will be a miracle if you cross 10 pages of this. Doesn't matter what part. That means there is a spirit that opens this for you. It's amazing how you can sit down and open your Bible and open side by side with even a Christian book and you would rather read the Christian book. Nothing is wrong with it. You are reading it, but just to sit and read this one raw, every demon from hell will fight you because this word you see, let me tell you, whether you understand what he's saying or not the moment your eyes make contact with this word something starts happening to your spirit and that's the reason why when the word of god is about being taught somebody who already slept in the afternoon the spirit of slumber just comes on the person you see that as soon as the service is over he can stand behind a car and discuss politics for two hours so it was never about tiredness it was about an attack on the word you heard the testimony of the dear lady here she came and sat down as soon as praise and worship was over the fire from the praise and worship made those spirits you see evil spirits are real please let's 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 not fool ourselves let us know this world we live in we are not alone are we together that you sit down from the start to the finish of a service is a miracle it's a sign that god is doing something in your life you see people, you see what happens during miracle service. The moment prayers are about to offer, you want to ease yourself. You want to do something. Ah, I feel uncomfortable. It's a lie. It's an agitation. These spirits are seeing beyond dimensions that your eyes can see. So they know what is happening in the realm of the spirit as the power of God is about to be released. And they will cause every discomfort. Some of you who drag people here to come and repent, notice how well behaved they are. As soon as the praise and worship starts, they just say, I, I, I'm tired, I want to go. It's a lie, they are not tired. The spirit that needs to be casted out. You see that? Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, if someone invites you here and you ever get to this ground or connect, it's a sign that your miracle has started. Because the kind of attack, you try it one day, and you will see that somebody who would ordinarily give you money will say, sorry, I don't have any money for anything. Just to leave Kaduna and come. It's an attack. Are we together now? But you have a responsibility to refuse. The will of man is respected even by demons. Yes, sir. If God respects your will, then every other force on earth must respect your will if they usurp your will they manipulated you in a way that allowed them to find expression i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing i can't force you i can only advise you choose life you don't choose life just by verbalizing it you choose life by paying the price to sit down and do the things that minister life are we together Help us tonight, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Some of you here need to go on a project. Just gather strategic koinonia messages that relate to certain areas in your life. The media will be more than glad to help you. Are we together? You put these teachings together and you go on a word fast. Let me tell you what that means. You will eat. There are many kinds of fasting most people only know the one that you suspend eating for 12 hours or some days but there is a way you can go on a movie fast that means you off every movie you can go on a phone fast off your phone it's, it's a way of fasting 
are we together and then you can have time for the word that the only thing your ear hears for a whole day is a message not somebody calling you ah how are you mm -mm. the only thing that you hear aside from bikes driving themselves out is the word of god you sit down and say lord my life must change what is the key you hear one message you hear part of the key it can be a message you've always had but now because you are giving god your attention fire comes from heaven and that's it you catch something you will come out of that place knowing that i've gotten this when you say it, they will laugh at you until the results bail you out please give your destiny time you heard what the dear lady said wonderful lady by the way i'm busy nobody is busy it's a lie we are looking for something nobody is busy if you're on your way going to kaduna this night and i say hold on somebody wants to give you one million are you busy talk to me no so the idea of being busy means i have not yet come to an understanding that the word of god is profitable so please let me leave it aside while i look for the things that look profitable nobody leaves what gives you profit so if you do not have time for the word it's a revelation it's a sign that in your dealings with god you have not been quickened to a point where you have seen the value and the profitability of the word of god so you can throw away the word of god and watch film i'm, I'm not please don't get me wrong i'm not against movies but i'm telling you there is a devil out there that is demeaning the power of the word of god and we choke all kinds of things in our heads and with it spirits come create fortifications and then this is what we say because we believe that just hanging around the word of god will produce result we will get angry and say i've done everything i know to do you see that i've done everything i prayed every prayer i attended this i even fasted god is unfair it's not true everybody that gives god time must get something from him if you give me time your life will never be the same give satan time your life will never be the same one of the reasons why we never see his outstretched arm is because we don't give god time i'm busy i'm too busy i am i'm busy it's demonic my soul wait thou upon the lord because my brothers and my sisters all that we are looking for one visitation from god can give you something that in a lifetime you may never get preacher say it but it is true i will search for you and i will find you and i will find you with all my heart I will lift my hands to you in worship and I will worship with all my heart. We will search for you and we will find you. We will find you with all our heart. We will lift our hands to you in worship And we will worship with all our heart One more time, let me just sing a song That I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart I will lift my voice to you in worship. I will worship with all my heart. I want you to sit quietly tonight and listen to what I want to teach you. Sit with your soul, your spirit, your ears, and listen. God knows. Ask Him that I love you with all my heart. My philosophy of leadership is that you are a failed leader until the people you lead become exceptionally successful by every standard. Are we together now?
so it doesn't matter whether it's a revelation yet to me i must insist until it speaks in your life because you see the bible says wisdom is justified by her children by her children Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those of you worshiping for the first time, God bless you. We we'll honor you at the end of the service. For now, let's get to the word of God. Genesis chapter 2. Verse 15. Genesis 2 verse 15 Genesis 2 verse 15 what is this that I see I command that spirit to live now I command the Lord just showed me something I command that spirit you just allow me to do my madness I command that spirit you must let this family go now I command that spirit you must let this family go now the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the Lord is the same I'm seeing two people to overflow one I command that spirit to go now you are leaving right now this chain that has held this family is time for them to testify I command that spirit to live in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit to lead. There is still one more person. The Lord is not allowing me to continue. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to lead. You have to go. This is Mount Zion. You know, one of the things that happens, let me teach you something. Do you know when God opens your eyes in the spirit, you will be able to know when, let me tell you what happens. When God opens my eyes now in the spirit, I will not only see an individual sitting, I will also see the spirits connected to them. You see? Yes. And usually, because the eye is the light of the body, once there is that contact, there is an agitation in the realm of the spirit. And that's why sometimes someone can just be looking quietly and start shouting. The individual doesn't know what just transacted in the realm of the spirit. Remember the demons looked at Jesus and they saw the body of a 33 year old young man. But when they looked, they said, ah, no, are you not? And Jesus said, keep quiet. So you can see beyond just an individual sitting. That's what just happened now. You'll be surprised now these people will come and testify and tell you for 10 years nobody has risen in our family and that's it genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 please follow me carefully let's see how god will grant us grace to make progress and the lord god took the man and put him into the garden of eden to dress and to keep it 16 and the Lord God commanded the man saying, listen, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. 17. But of the tree of the knowledge, the tree of the knowledge, not a knowledge, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil shall thou not eat for in the day that you eatest thereof you will die now listen carefully jesus is giving a disclaimer here he's giving man access to the garden are we together now and he's giving man a disclaimer that in this garden there are many trees i give you access to partake the word eat there doesn't just mean eat alone it means to partake of the benefits that come with that privilege he says that there is a kind of tree that he forbids. It's amazing that even the tree that is forbidden has good. Now listen carefully. The tree has what? 
yet is part of the forbidden tree so he says this tree doesn't have evil alone there are many good things that can come from this tree yet there is a reason why i forbid you from partaking and this is the reason that the day you eat that tree regardless of the good it carries that day you will die look up the day man ate of this did he die in as much as we know death adam did not die eve did not die that means he was talking about something else in the day not in the month remember until this time he had created time and seasons so he says in the day the moment you partake this death starts for you listen carefully and then in spite of the fact that it comes with good notice the marketing system of the tree it projects good first then evil not evil and good the character of this tree is such that when you come you will never know there is evil on it the system is good and evil even god acknowledges that the tree had good are we together now genesis chapter 3 We'll read from verse 1, let's see to verse 7, very quickly. And then we'll have a very serious discussion tonight and pray. The Lord is giving us wisdom. Verse 1, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, listen, Satan is talking now. Yea, had God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Verse 3. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, because the woman was not there when God was telling the man, This tree has good and evil. Adam just told her that this is a tree in the midst of the garden. And so she's replying Satan now. God had said, Ye shall not eat, neither shall ye touch, lest ye die. For... And the serpent said to the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know. So we are talking of knowledge here. Remember now. The tree of the knowledge. The tree of the knowledge. There is knowledge in the tree. The central thing there is knowledge, not fruit. Knowledge. The tree of the knowledge. Are we together now? If you have the tree of the knowledge of banana, that tree will not when you eat banana from that tree it teaches you something the tree is a lecturer the fruit in the tree can teach men certain things are you getting what i'm saying now and now he's saying that god knows that in the day remember all of this will happen in a day both the death and this that you eat thereof the first thing is that your eyes shall be opened that means a kind of illumination will come to you and then ye shall be as what as gods knowing good and evil wow that means one characteristic feature between gods is that they have a supply of knowledge and the power to use that knowledge to produce good to produce evil are we together now that whoever can manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of good and manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of evil is no longer a man he didn't say he's the god of heaven but he said this one is not man are you getting the discussion now knowing good and evil verse 6 and when the woman saw that the tree was what now notice she didn't see anything evil again the tree is walking now this is how the tree works what did the woman see good for food and it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desired to make one wise 
what kind of wisdom we don't know but we know that there is wisdom in the tree she took off the fruit thereof and did eat and gave unto her husband with her and he did eat you see that Adam was there with her next verse and truly like Satan said the eyes of them both were what? open so he didn't entirely lie he said this tree can open your eyes but he didn't say what that open eye will do and so their eyes were open and they knew that they were naked and they sowed fig leaves and all of that and all of that now when you read all the drama that happened when God came down and said man what is happening he said this woman blah 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 just let's go to verse 11 I'll read just verse 11 and then I'll begin to teach and he said who told you that you were naked then he said hast thou because this knowledge you should not have gotten it there is no way as a man without an assistance your knowledge is limited although you are a man without sin this should not be given to you then he says have you eaten of the tree and he says I commanded you not to eat you read on and he said the woman you put the woman said the serpent and he was angry and began to curse them but something interesting happened he said man has become like one of us just follow me man has become like one of us I thought the Bible says he created man image and after his likeness now God is saying something is wrong man has become like one of us and for that we will not allow him in this state to eat of the tree of life again because if he takes of the tree of life you know the tree of life was designed to keep you living in whatever state you are so now that this guy's the whole plan has been corrupted if we allow him to eat of the tree of life then redemption will no longer be possible so let's drive him out so that it can be possible to redeem this man are we together now please sit down right from genesis we see that there is a fight for knowledge the bible tells us that the first tree listen carefully the first tree was not called the tree of the knowledge of life it was called the tree of life but the second tree works by giving men information that it supplies you an information that gives your life good but with it eventually it destroys you are we together now Jesus there is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil that is interwoven in this system this cosmos that we live in please listen very carefully many people like Eve have not received the miracle of understanding to discern that the trees that they continue to partake of are poisonous trees that are ministering death to their destinies and death to their lives and so my exhortation really tonight is a wake-up call to open your eyes to something very deep about the destruction that is happening to many people that they do not know they continue to die daily not as Paul said by their continual connection with this tree and that you will never be able to do much for the kingdom until you understand this in the name of Jesus Christ I look at lives today as a man of God I look at people's destinies and I see certain results in their lives that I wonder how those kinds of results would have been produced are you getting what I'm saying now yes I know that these results are a product of a philosophy a product of an ideology that has been sold by a system 
that has been sold by a sociological context that does not honor God nor have regard for the ways of God. Are we together now? Remember the tree of life based the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Bible tells us it is very tempting. When the woman saw it, there was an attraction. Are we together now? Many people's lives today have become a mess and has become complicated. I am almost afraid when I look at our society today and look at the level of confusion, the level of aimlessness that surrounds the lives of people. People are almost clueless about everything in life. The young and the old alike, the rich and the poor alike. And we do not know the source of this confusion. I want to show you tonight. If I can successfully show you and we pray, my assignment tonight has been fulfilled. Are we together? Colossians chapter 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We'll read verse 8. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Read with me please. Look up. One to read. Beware lest any man spoil you through what? Philosophy. Uh -huh. And vain deceit after the traditions of men. Here's my key point. And after the methodology, the modus operandi, the system of this world. The Greek word there is aeon. An age and a mindset that is brought with that age. That do not let the word spoiled there is plunder. Take advantage of. Do not let any man take advantage of you through philosophy, through vain deceit, through the traditions of men. After the methodology, there is a system that this world operates. Listen carefully. There is a way and manner that has been sold humanity as a race have been scammed by a system a system that has advocated a way of life and a template of living and the bible says that compared to god's standard that template is wrong now but it's very difficult because the character of that tree is that it has good and we live in a society where we are governed by results which is an advantage for Satan because then he can project the good that comes with that system and with it he can buy the loyalty of people by the time you can prove to me that a method is working regardless of the side effects are we together now we have products right now that are 60 percent um 60 percent potent in their result and we believe that those products are enough and we sell them so we live in a world where once there is an evidence that something works, we package it and we go mainstream and we market it to people. But we do not know that that good, the Bible says, that on the, is a strategy that Satan projects the good in every evil thing. No evil thing comes as evil. Even Satan comes as an angel of light. Are you getting me now? So the character of evil is such that it projects the good first. So that you are baited by that good. Like you dangle a worm attempting to catch a fish. And the fish comes hoping to eat the worm. Not knowing that there is a hook behind. Are we together now? And then that fish is caught up by the hook. That don't let any man spoil you. There is a philosophy in this world. There is a philosophy in this age that when men subscribe to, the Bible says the side effect is that it is as though an armed bandit came to your house and plundered you. The confusion that is in people's lives today on almost every subject matter is a call for concern that we must get back to understanding the disaster that is encapsulated in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now society may not agree government may not agree because there are statistics to show that the tree has good are we together now 
so when you tell somebody come my dear when you tell someone um give your life to jesus and throw away some of the herbal things that were used in your village this lady will prove to you how that herbal medicine healed five people are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say good shout it again say good and the lady would tell you she's on five points now because they said any time is time for exam rob that thing before you go to the exam hall and my goodness did it work so now that lady will not listen to your proposition to say i should throw it is it just because it has a little side effect the benefits outweigh the side effects you will say the same way you say salt one pinch of salt cannot affect a whole you know bowl of soup you don't put the same size of vegetables as you do the salt yet sometimes just for putting a little more you can completely ruin that soup that's how evil is evil does not have to be the same size with good it just has to be present sufficient enough to create an effect are you getting me now you are not the only one who is salt evil too is salt are you getting what i'm saying you are not the only one who is salt evil too is salt that's why the bible says, a little living a little not much a little please follow me very carefully this lady now can serve god but she will hold on to her charms because if the charms were 100 percent failed she would throw it obviously the devil knows nobody ever walking with the devil has 100 percent evil no he doesn't walk that way he's smart enough to know ask an ambrobber why he's still stealing he will tell you the last stealing my god we had 11 million and that 11 million changed our life i even gave tight it looks good ask him now to stop stealing the memory of the 11 million will make sure he goes back to steal are you getting what i'm saying now evil blatantly will usually drive you away but the good component in it is what will give you the staying power to remain so the bible says do not eat of that tree of good and evil there are philosophies my brothers and my sisters listen carefully there are mindsets there are belief systems that we have adopted that come with this age the bible tells us they are traceable to a tree they are traceable to a root that markets good to men and at the end destroys them thank you my dear the bible tells us again that this system that we live in has something called the wisdom of this age the wisdom of this age first corinthians chapter 2 i'm just trying to gather my scriptures before i begin to build you will be so blessed first corinthians chapter 2 paul is teaching the church in corinth and here's what he says first corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect and so you are not confused paul now begins to distinguish what that wisdom is that kind he says yet not the wisdom of that means this world has its own kind of wisdom wisdom by its character produces results it doesn't matter what kind of wisdom are we together now but the bible is saying there is wisdom that is not the wisdom of god it is the wisdom of this world there is even the wisdom that is the wisdom of the princes of this world hmm. but the bible says all of them come to naught what does that mean that means the end of them is death is destruction the wisdom of this world 
the wisdom of the princes of this world that we pride ourselves in that we build the entire philosophy of our lives the bible says that wisdom whoever walks with that dimension of knowledge doom and destruction is inevitable look at me please most of the issues in our world today are only symptoms of a bigger problem are we together most of the issues in our world today the issues that we face that we we believe are the issues that are depriving man and mankind from his dignity most of them are only symptoms of a bigger issue the same way someone can have headache and a doctor can say no this is not headache it is malaria the headache is a symptom of something meaning if you take panadol it may give you a temporary relief but you are not going to be healed from that malaria until you are properly treated we spend our time addressing symptoms we write books about symptoms listen carefully we hold conferences on symptoms and very few people are willing to go to the root and deal with the foundation that brings about this, this tragic problem of mankind. The ideas of this world have made our lives complicated. The life of the average person living in today's world is as complicated as a gadget this wisdom we have adopted like a virus they have created a web of complication they have robbed us of the simplicity of life destroyed everything about us family life has been broken down to nonsense the dignity of responsibility has been broken down to nonsense meritocracy godliness all of these virtues that build up society and advance men they had been attacked for many years and now we are seeing the effect we have enjoyed the good of that tree for a long time and right now people are beginning to see the evil you are trying to run away but the tree said you received all of me you received the advancement that i gave you you received the technology that I gave you. Are we together now? You received all of the enlightenment that I gave you. Now the other side of the equation is opening up. And the war, the crime, the decadence, and people are saying, what kind of world are we in? Not knowing that it's a food we ate. And now we are paying for everything. And let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, that tree is continuing to dangle every day. If we keep eating of that tree, it will not only kill us, it will kill our children and our children's children. We have been so sucked into this system, we do not even know we are in deception. You can be so deceived and misled that you are not even aware that is deception. underdevelopment security issues marital issues financial issues joblessness all of these things are symptoms of subscribing to a philosophy and a way of life that is antichrist and not built on life that tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil it was just a diplomatic way to say the tree of life and a tree of death because the end of it is that there is a way that cement right to a man he says but the end thereof are the ways of death as I counsel people I am coming to the conclusion that if we do not re-examine our philosophies there is no hope this issue is bigger than counseling this issue is bigger than laying on of hands this issue is bigger than a church service or a conference this is a deception that is institutional and it will take people who understand the holy spirit listen carefully 
people who understand the ways of God to summon the courage to say, no, something is wrong. My grandfather followed this way. My father followed this way. Now a system is forcing me to follow that way and you turn and say, no way. And receive the courage to fight to victory. The contentions that will come by your refusal to eat of that tree. Write this down. The world system that advocates this tree of good and evil thrives on three major things. The world system, that means the antichrist system of operation, unfortunately that our society is built upon, thrives on three things. Number one, ungodliness. Ungodliness. Today's world, our civilization today is against godliness. Let me explain to you what that means. That means to do well in today's world, it is mandatory you must act like there's no God. Are you getting what I'm just saying now? If you want to do well in today's world, you have to indoctrinate yourself and culture yourself into acting as though God does not exist and the world today will applaud you that means that this babylonian system this tree of the knowledge of good and evil is strangling away god consciousness from all of us and from the fabric of society the world system thrives on godlessness that means that the more you are aligned to this world it will make you in a way and manner that you do not see value for God again by destroying every Christian monument in schools for instance that can help men be aware are we together now all those things are strategies to make sure that our children the same way this little boy now does not know what a typewriter looks like that is the same way one day people will not know anything about God. You will say, in the beginning was the word. They said, is that a novel? They said, what do you mean, is that a novel? That's King James. They said, well, I'm not aware of what you are saying. That is the goal of this system. That a day will come when, when you say Bible study, it's like you are telling a child lemonade, and he says, what is that? What is Bible, sir? I don't know what Bible is. And you say it's a book that contains the words of God. He said, who is God? We will get there if, a church does, if the church does not rise and listen to what I'm telling you. Today you have a program on TV. You mention Jesus or mention God, they edit it. But they can leave explicit words in movies even for children. Don't mind that rating thing they write. That means something is wrong and the church is watching and we do not understand that we are being forced to eat from the tree that contains good and evil ungodliness right now this is not this is not a generation of ignorance again satan has stopped using ignorance as a strategy this generation is too enlightened to entertain ignorance. So he has started marketing this good and evil. It's difficult to keep someone ignorant now because this is an inquisitive generation. They want to know. And so Satan says, instead of hiding the knowledge, let's not hide it again. Let us corrupt it and market it. So knowledge is available and affordable. But largely, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, over 70% of the information that mold and make the mind of people is a Babylonian information that contains good and evil. Are we together? You hear what they teach your children in school. On one side, you are happy that the children are learning biology. But on the other side, you know you are in trouble because good and evil. Are you get what I'm saying now? Yes. Ungodliness. We have to preserve God consciousness. And the tree of the knowledge of good and evil will never, never preserve God consciousness. 
when I was growing up, 90% of our discussions were around school and God. That was it. Right now, the average young child, the average teenager will talk about applications, apps, almost a thousand times before anything spiritual will be mentioned. Not God. Most young people are now spiritual and are now sociological, not spiritual. They are doing everything. That's why they are promoting all the human activities that neutralize God consciousness, like sports, like music. These are platforms that, um, that is, 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 is very, very, is very, very civil. And so it doesn't allow the things of God. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's a strategy. And God is waking us up on godliness. Number two. These three of the knowledge of good and evil that makes up the world system operates by distorting spiritual patterns. Write it down. This system operates by distorting spiritual patterns. It's one of the most dangerous effects of this wisdom of the world it distorts spiritual patterns i want you to listen carefully isaiah chapter 5 we'll read from verse 20 to 24. isaiah 5 20. read with me we're reading from 20 to 24. one to read woe to them that call evil good talk to me and good evil that put darkness for light uh-huh and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter what kind of a generation is this that replaces everything is an overhaul nothing was spared if it is good this society calls it evil if it is light they call it darkness if it is sweet they call it bitter verse 22 21 woe to them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight uh-huh woe to them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink 23 we justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him do you know what this means that means they force you through their life and they compel you to bend until you are out of god's pattern he said they take away the righteousness of the righteous from him so you send your child to school as a responsible young boy from a christian family and a system has been built by the time that boy is three years in that school it has taken away the righteousness from the righteous four next verse therefore as fire devoured the stubble and flame consumed the chaff so shall their root be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust notice that they once blossom but the bible said it will go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the lord of hosts and despised the word of the holy one of israel in god's design and in his dealings with men he always creates patterns listen carefully god's patterns are his methodology his way of achieving his will it is not enough to obey god we must understand his pattern there is a pattern for wealth and finance in the kingdom there is a pattern for marriage in the kingdom there is a pattern for ministry there is a pattern for success but now we have a system that is forcing an ideology and even upon believers that makes us to violate patterns are we together now one of our dear ladies here she may be following online i think a few a few maybe about a month ago she left for the u.s and when she got to the u.s i think it was just like a few days or a week she just called me and i know there are people from u.s following so i i, I don't mean to insult any culture but she told me 
that apostle there's there's something wrong she said my roommates are all lesbians and there is a problem if I'm not mistaken I hope I'm right because she said it's like they are supposed to be believers and now she has to relate with them because there is not like here just for showing any sign of um, discrimination as it were they can sue you and of course if you are not, not a citizen of that nation they can take you out immediately and this lady was confused completely confused and saying what is all this I come from a place in Zaria where even the person who is not doing well can be a pastor somewhere else and now I'm faced with roommates that are vocally part of a system let me tell you I don't mean to insult anyone but I told you most of those things are symptoms of a problem the problem is that we have deviated from God's pattern are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. The divorce rate in marriages is something that is scary, including Christian marriages. One out of every two marriages will not last 10 years. Now, please don't feel bad if anything has happened to your marriage. I'm teaching here. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you know why? Because two of you come, husband and wife, people have created their own patterns. Call good evil and evil good it was god who defined how marriage works society has now mentored people into creating their own laws about marriage is it not arrogant for you to come and meet something and not consult the person who created it and change the laws it's like coming to my house and meet my tap running and i come back and see that you've rewired the tap to the back of the house by what authority did you do this in my house so we have done it in ways that we cannot imagine in my my laptop i have the photo of a woman who married sardine big sardine not the small one you use yes sir yes sir are we together side by side you see them there i have it in my laptop now let me tell you this believers who are civilized people i'm not i'm not those kind of people that would teach you to not, not no 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 but i'm saying something is wrong we have to admit that something is wrong are we together now these people have their ideas they have money they have everything yet the marriage does not work and they are wondering because everybody the babylonian system has indoctrinated this lady you are not under any man you are a lady you are you know you are a wonderful person don't let any man look down on you society is these men are looking down on women this and that and the lady says yes if it's because of your money i will get my own job i will buy my own car i can be lord of myself if you drive me i can go and get my three bedroom flat we think it's a nice thing because if a lady proposes this in the world they clap for you they stand up and wave their hands and god sits on his throne and say this is not what i designed what are you designing like this already as i'm saying it you see how surprised me? how many of you have been sucked into it as i'm saying it now it's paining you which is a sign that god is delivering you because already you can see how the thing has sucked us and then the men we have our own we are even the ones that are more sucked into this thing because we need money we need to provide and we have deviated from god's pattern completely right now respect in marriage is based on who is richer not what god said I'm working, I'm earning 30,000. You are earning 10,000. You are not worth my respect. And society says, yes. One, one life coach somewhere who is not born again, has never read the Bible, is now writing books and pushing it to the church because they know we buy everything. Are we together? Yes. Something is wrong. A distortion of patterns. Let me tell you why patterns are important because patterns forerun the glory when patterns are violated the glory will never be seen never be seen 
there are ways today my brothers and my sisters i don't say this in any sarcastic way but there are ways go for pastors conferences and see how they teach men to raise money to run churches you will be amazed and you will be surprised because there is a pattern a babylonian system is marketing a strategy remember that the ark of god was supposed to be carried by a formula a man decided to invent a system to say let's let's make it easier for men and that man died what did he do that was wrong he only changed patterns it was violation of pattern that made a man lose his throne saul in the bible it was not in his office to offer sacrifices but because samuel was wasting time and the people started putting pressure on saul saul said what nonsense is this priesthood thing get me everything let me offer sacrifices as soon as he offered sacrifices samuel came and said what have you done he said you have done foolishly you would have allowed me to come and do this and god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this your throne is taken away from you and samuel tried to weep and cry and god who is full of mercy said how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king in other words this guy is out of my program god your god every time the reason why we never see the glory of god in our churches we never see the glory of god in our families could it be that we are there eating of the tree of the knowledge of the of good and evil and is indoctrinating us to act and believe in ways that are violating god's pattern gideon began to cry and told the angel he said why do we not see the miracles that our fathers told us and he began to tell gideon there are idols there are things to be destroyed when it was time for elijah to command fire from heaven he didn't just say fire come he said set me 12 altars there is a pattern set me 12 altars put water on it put this and fire came cain and abel offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected god is not only the god of the heavens he's a god of patterns god looks at how you did it not just that you did it hmm. patterns thank you my dear exodus chapter 25 We'll read verse 9 and then we'll read verse 20. Very quickly, please. God is taking us somewhere tonight. According to all that I showed thee, listen, after the pattern of the tabernacle, this was the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness, and God was instructing Moses that according to all that I showed you, after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, so shall thou make it in other words it was not moses's idea a blueprint was given his assignment was to replicate it there are many things see in your dealing with god you will not need too much of creativity you will need obedience it is when you are executing his will on earth that you will need in your dealing with god there are few things that will be your idea I know we don't like this how you know you are working with God is that a major part of your dealing is yes sir yes sir when it becomes in my opinion that's not God you are working with hmm. creativity is not for the secret place creativity is a system of dominion you don't bring creativity when you are in the secret place it is obedience it is your heart opening to say lord not my will but your will be done exodus 25 25 verse 40 and look that thou make them after what their pattern which was shown you not which you guessed not which you guessed a pattern was shown you make sure that you make it after their pattern very quickly give us chapter 40 and verse 16 40 and verse 16 i'm showing you that god is a god of patterns 40 and verse 16 read with me please one to read thus did moses uh-huh according to all that the lord commanded him go to verse 33 
We are reading now verse 33 to 35. It says, and he read up the court. He's about to finish now. Listen carefully. Round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. Read the last sentence, everyone. One to go. So Moses finished the work. He finished everything according to pattern. Next verse. And then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation. God supervised until he followed the patterns to the dot. When Moses finished the work, he said, God, I finished. God said, I'm ready to come. The cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of God filled the tabernacle. Next verse. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation. Why? Because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of God filled. If the glory of God is not upon your church, could there be an explanation that something in the building or the system of that church is disaligned with divine patterns? Because if it is built according to pattern, the glory of God is like a stamp. You obeyed to the latter. If I look at your family and I do not see the glory of God, there is a pattern that you are not following. Are we together now? I can look at your family and I see chaos here and there. Husband beating wife, wife beating husband, I must kill you. I tell you, someone is violating patterns. If both people walk with divine patterns, there will be glory. That means the glory of God is also a confirmation that his patterns have been duly followed. Every time you finish that which you do, it's important to look around and find out where is the glory of God in it as proof that this was done according to pattern. Could it be that the joblessness that is plaguing young people in Nigeria could it be the reason why many of us are languishing in certain intense levels of hardship? We may be well-meaning, but could it be that we are violating divine patterns? Everybody say patterns. Say it again, say patterns. So the tree of the knowledge of good and evil causes you to be distorted from God's pattern. There is a way God designed that marriage happens. If you have to go on Facebook and WhatsApp to start doing this, you may get a beast who is first a man before he becomes a beast, which is consistent with the way that tree works. Is first good before evil. So you meet somebody on Facebook and he says, I'll go and see your parents. You are the lily of the valley. Are we together now? and that person later becomes the beast of your destiny. Why? Because patterns. God designed marriage, come please, to be one man and one woman. Don't feel bad. By the time this guy says one woman is not enough and brings another woman, everybody say patterns patterns start fighting from the realm of the spirit because the way God designed this thing is such that one woman the woman has to be alone for you to see the best of her in marriage by the time it is now two or ten or five something must go wrong it doesn't matter what they sign patterns have been distorted are we together when a man of 50 years old is writing Waek, everybody say patterns have been distorted. Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm saying that it is usual for that man to not concentrate. He is not supposed to be that alert and focused just like that. Because that longevity of time has accommodated too many things that are more serious than the subject matter. So it is good that a young man bear his yoke in his youth. Lamentation chapter 3. That God says, young men, walk your walks while it is day. Night will come when you cannot walk. It's a pattern. Starting early in life is a pattern. 
that's why when the spirit of delay comes upon a family it makes sure that the first person is in is writing ssc at 25 it's not about delay satan is doing everything to make you go out of pattern it is why god in his mercy introduced a mystery called restoration are you seeing that now restoration is doing something to your life to bring you back in pattern when a woman has been barren and she's 60 years old with no child the devil knows that according to the normal course of life there will be a problem giving birth or at least giving birth to a very healthy child are you seeing that now satan knows that god is a god of patterns and so he supplies us knowledge that makes us to be and act in ways that continue to be defiant to god's pattern because his advantage in our life is that when we are out of pattern he doesn't need to pray against us the glory was designed to locate patterns and confirm it Is God speaking to us? I'd like you to look at your family as you are sitting down and suddenly realize that could this be why we never saw the hand of God in our family? We were Christians. Oh, my father, my mother loved God, served God with all his and her heart. Lord, why is this family this way? Why are we not seeing your glory? I'm showing you. We are eating of a tree. And the more we keep eating of that tree, every time the glory comes to your house, it cannot rest. And the glory continues to search for a resting place. And sometimes it will wait for one full generation until you arrive. That's why some of you are standing up to say, Lord, that glory must rest. That glory has been hovering around my family since 1951. And nobody has aligned enough to allow that glory come. Lord, see, he said, Lord, and now arise, oh Lord. He said, come to your resting place. Until then, God said, I don't have a place to rest. And Solomon said, no way. We have to make for you, make for you a place. I can tell you, I understand a bit about the glory of God. I know why many people do not experience the glory. There are spiritual patterns. Babylon. You eat of that tree. Notice what happened to Adam. As soon as they ate of the tree, what happened? The glory lifted. It was the glory that covered them. They didn't even know whether they were naked or not. They didn't need clothes because the Shekinah of God covered them. As soon as they ate of that tree, imagine that every day you are eating of that tree think of what is happening to your life and think of what you are programming for your children's children already so every time our fathers kept bowing in that shrine they thought they were just paying homage but something Ichabod the glory continued to move back and back and back and back and back by the time you came to the scene, there was no glory again. Eleven ladies, beautiful ladies, no man to marry them. Thirteen ladies, no child. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, it's not just about prayer. When we return to the pattern, it's with a rush. The glory will come. When Moses finished, not when he started, God kept watching. Finish it and let my glory come. You know, from my paternal side i never saw any blessed person i think the most blessed person was my dad and it's not like he was any blessing i said what kind of course is this how can you be so hard working and love god my father was a very honest man loved god but i, I said no no someone has to be angry oh this night and say no my family has been eating from a tree Eating from the tree can mean bowing to an idol. Eating from the tree can be an indoctrination that your salary is where your wealth is. You think it's a nice statement, but it's something that has been sold to you. So when you hear things like all blessings come from God, they only pass through men. It's an ideology that fights everything you've been taught about job. Oh, the boss said, I can waste your life now. And you say, sir, it's true. Ah, 
the psalmist said i lift up my eyes to the hills i'm not confused i know where my help comes from who is an arrogant man born of a woman that sits on a chair and says he will frustrate you when there is god an average man of god has been taught now that there are things that if they are not in your church members will not come please don't get me wrong i know if there's any man of god phoning I'm, I'm an excellent person but right now we are doing a lot of nonsense that will not help us see the glory of god nonsense members can drink tea they can eat rice they can eat yam and go because there is a pattern and i if i be lifted that's the pattern i will paul may plant apollos may water but it's not given to men to bring increase increase is a mystery that only the lord of the harvest knows the formula you say something now people insult you and say you are arrogant but the result is not showing i want you tonight to start thinking the convictions that i hold where did it come from where did it come from there are many well behaved ladies in this place you started very well with God until you read a book until you joined some group of friends who told you blast gentlemen don't talk anybody that talks just give it to them don't be doing like a mumu girl men are not like that I say eh, that's how it works you ate something and from that day your glory went away and the kind of men who would ordinarily come you find out that men increase but it's all nonsense kind of men men that you cannot carry to your parents something a pattern has gone wrong the one factor that was the reason why the glory of god was on you the devil now came and lied to you why be respect yourself be a well-behaved girl be all of, let me tell you if you act like you're a mumu naive girl men will not come and you say okay i must reinvent myself to be a happening lady and that was the day your destiny helper went away there are many pastors some of you here have come here for impartation let me tell you i submit to you i am a student of patterns there are things that i know i found them God taught me. I said, Lord, I will never bend to them. Years ago, I remember saying some things and I was insulted. I was criticized because of it. I said things about the glory of God. I said things about increase. And I said, the way we are going, if people do not understand these things, they will pay for it. People laughed at me. And today is unfortunate for many people. people see some of the results that God is producing it's not a charm it's patterns when a pattern is complete listen to me my sister you may come from a family where nobody knows you stay with God's pattern let his glory rest on you you will join people to wonder and say God what what am I doing and God says I'm the God of patterns man of God follow God's pattern for ministry and you will be afraid of what God will do through your life. We like cutting corners. Cutting corners. Cutting corners. I want a ministry, but I want it now. I want power, but I want it fast. I want this, but I want it now. And we find out that somewhere along the line, the patterns are distorted. And we never see the power of God. Are we together? You do what I'm telling you now to do and see how society will laugh at you. Because we have trained people that the more godless we are, the more happening they are. You see that? So this gentleman now is in the house and somebody advises him, don't give your wife money because if you give her money, she will not respect you. That's what is in vogue now. A demonic pattern. 
because loyalty and submission was supposed to be by revelation not manipulation now the man is manipulating the woman and one day her own to fell to advise her and as soon as he advises her she will get a job and start a business and arrest the husband to prove to him that i am the man in the house my brothers and my sisters were in trouble if we don't return to pattern yes many marriages do not work because the men are not under authority you've heard me say it i have read a lot of books about marriage and i respect it but i submit to you that many of the books are dealing with symptoms do you know just for a man not having the fear of god there are hundred problems that can arise from that relationship now you can write a book to solve those various hundred problems but the root cause is that this man is not saved period when a man is not saved, the tendencies that can come are infinite. When a man is not under authority, he can beat the living daylight out of this woman and say, who cares? I'm the Lord of my life. I don't listen to no man. The arrogance of Nebuchadnezzar. It's a pattern. why do doctors specialize why do they look at certain sicknesses and they can show you immediately because the sicknesses have patterns malaria has a pattern typhoid has a pattern a doctor can do this just do a quick examination and say wow quickly you need to see a consultant something is wrong without the patterns they have been taught to identify patterns that's it there is a pattern that gives you wealth in this kingdom many believers will not listen the world has its own system it will work but wait to see what it will give you later on it will give you high blood pressure you will be a liar you will be a thief you will destroy your life destroy the integrity of your family so two of us come show two of us can stand right now and i have I have some money here. I have 1,000 Naira. Watch this. He got his one. Hold your own. Hold it high. He's hold, he got his 1,000 by a Babylonian system. And I got my 1,000 from a kingdom system. You would think that two of us are holding 1,000. No. He's holding 1,000 minus five years gone in his life. That's why the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added. That means there is a kind of blessing that adds too. If the blessing of the Lord adds not, that means there is a type that you can get, but with it you will get this. That's what happened to many of our parents. By the time they are 55 years, he found out that because of Horsley and the way he pushed like that, he's about to retire, but he's not hearing again. Come on to me, Jesus. Let's listen to him now. Let's listen to Jesus. Come on to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden. He promises that he will give you rest. This is what many people can kill for. Look at this. This thing you see. Many people have left God because of it. Many people are going to hell fire because of it. Yet they never find it. And God tells you, look, there is a way I can give you this such that you will serve me. And the world says, the way I give you this is the, the more you denounce Jesus, the more I give it to you. So you keep saying, Jesus, I don't love you. And Mammon says, that's how it works. By the time you have plenty of this, you have not only left the cross, you have left everything God. So when you come and say, I can have this and yet have Jesus, Babylon says you are joking. But this is what God is training you into doing. That you can have this and if God says, let it go, you drop it. Because you are aware that this is not your true value. Your true value is Christ. We must return tonight to patterns otherwise we are going to suffer remember that every result is governed by something that something is a pattern the result you get is brought by the glory of God I've seen a little bit of the glory of God and I know 
when a man has found a pattern for the glory give up on that man if you want to try to take the glory in that area you're wasting your time for as long as the pattern is kept the glory will always always without fail tomorrow i'm in lagos preaching at a conference and i know that their lives will never be the same because there is a pattern it's not because i'm joshua selman ah elijah said bring me 12 stones i know how to make fire come from heaven man of god you are not a blessing to your members if you do not understand the pattern that brings the hand of god there is a pattern that men do on earth that brings favor there is a pattern that brings speed there is a pattern that brings the anointing I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord I was glad there is something in the house of the Lord that changes the lives of people but today we are eating trees that make the things of God do you know the tree of the knowledge of good and evil teaches you that it is in the abundance of hustling you prosper have you had those teachings and have you seen people write books on them have you not read in your Bible that except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it? The world will laugh at you for saying that. Have you not read again that the Lord said, except he watches over a city, he says, that the watchmen watch it in vain. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night. Does that look like somebody's life that you know? wake up in the morning sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said but he gives his beloved sleep and you see when you struggle and it does not work you will be angry at those who are getting it easy because patterns are supposed to create spiritual ease so you can step into a place and gyrate like a herbalist. The power of God will fall. He is going to fall. And you keep looking at the ladies and nobody is shouting and you are angry. What is no, no sister shouting? And yet, someone comes with the ark and knows how to put 12 stones together. And all of a sudden, you are hosting a dimension of glory. And you stand and watch and say, how are these people doing it? He has to be the devil. No, sir. Patterns. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning, and I have learned to walk in your don't do what everybody is doing just listen to me and follow me I was stupid enough to follow Lord where do I go this way Lord where do I go I remember when the Lord told me put koinonia messages the audio put it on your Facebook page and let it go Lord what is that many ministries raise their money to run the church primarily through the media arm the media arm of every ministry is one of the major ways that God blesses them with Lord if you are doing that how then are you going to bless the ministry but Lord how do you put a message on Facebook and then you said you will give it wings the patterns of God he uses the foolish things my brothers and my sisters listen to me 
a lady was talking to me that she was somewhere one of our ladies she used to be in the worship team that she was somewhere on kekena pep and the person on kekena pep was playing my message this was in i think it was in worry or so or by elsa now that one is no more advertisement there is a finger when you see results that are produced by patterns you will know that this one is god the pride of our generation will never allow us to humble ourselves and say lord i don't know i don't know many young people do not know how to succeed and they would never go to god they will consult with all kinds of equally proud people like them and come up with all kinds of formula that is not consistent with the ways of god that formula may have worked in 1970 but i guarantee it will not work in today's world listen young people in nigeria we need to receive the formula for our advancement because computers have, re have replaced men a day will come when almost everything will be done by computers i don't know what the employment issue will be but there is there is a system in this kingdom when there was famine only two sets of people were spared the king and the prophet the king and the prophet did not go through famine any other person in between suffered the squalor of it Alabara. You are the mighty God, and you are so rich. You are the glorious Alamara. There are people who will tell you about our teachings that they can stand and sit strangers i shared with you the testimony of a gentleman that bought flash new flash in the case flash drive bought a new flash drive in the case like that given to him the gentleman opened it went to slot it in his laptop and there was koinonia messages brand new flash because it's not men that market this thing they are spirits Ask Jacob in the house of Laban. Do you not see that there was a pattern that made Laban left for three days? How many days? Three days. He came back after three days and saw that his cattle had changed in three days. Do animals get pregnant in three days? But a spiritual pattern was downloaded to the earth realm and things change. That means there is something we can receive from heaven. Remember our popular scripture in this ministry. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth. There is a pattern. My brothers and my sisters. Listen to me. I want you to be careful what everybody calls the way. Did you hear what I said? Don't be afraid of being controversial. Be careful what everybody says is the way. This is how people make it in life. This is how people marry these days. No, sir. Many of our young children are being destroyed right now in churches because in a bid to create a Western or a 21st century context, we are robbing these young children of the quality of knowing God. Look at Islam. They have not changed their pattern. The way they train children regardless whether it's in saudi arabia or whatever the pattern is the same they know the potency of that formula is god speaking to us let me give us one more and then we'll pray is god speaking to someone tonight so if i am not seeing the glory of god in my life the explanation tonight is that there could be that i am eating I am partaking of an information that may be mainstream it may be popular when i talk to this my adorable gentlemen they are absolutely great people they are going very far you see that yes they are going very far but you see there is a pattern that people believe if you follow you will rise fast believe me it is nonsense
any pattern that is not consistent with God's word will not take you far. It will throw you up and crash you down. That's why you see people rise and shine for two years and then they say their time has come and gone. But is that what your Bible says? Doesn't it say that the path of the just, talk to me, is as a shining light. So what is this up today and down tomorrow? Because there is a pattern. If you have to put money in my pocket and bribe my way to making the world know you, your success is at the mercy of my loving you. The day I don't love you, you are in trouble. But when God is the one who leads you, you will be surprised. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you For five years and they will tell her there's one man is in our village he has the gift he has the gift all you need to do he has the gift and the woman says no I know God's pattern I know that that tree carries good so it's possible to go there and have a child but something will come with that child will come the trouble in your family and then the woman stays and uses her faith and the day God is ready to visit her, God will not give her a child. The woman will carry tri triplets. One child being equivalent to ten children. You know that there are people who alone, they are equivalent to a nation. They give birth to one child. Because of that one child, somebody you have been trying to see for years comes to visit you. Five people get a job because a child was born. Is that a child? A child that does what a CEO cannot do. A destiny helper from birth. One week from birth is already a destiny helper. And as adult as we are, we couldn't help ourselves. A child helps us. That's not a child. That's a miracle. That's a breakthrough. Number three. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil thrives on self-centeredness I want you to listen to my message Christ-centeredness I preached it I think earlier this year the language I I want it my way my way is the language of Babylon my way is proof you are eating of that tree men who eat of that tree have a way they talk it must be my way listen listen Oh, generation of young people, let's listen. My way, my formula. We live in a generation right now where there is an obsession for having things happen our way. I want it my way. And we take it a step further to force others to also do it our way. That's the height of selfishness now. most great relationships are destroyed because of the i factor myself i want it my way it has to be as it pleases me unfortunately when you come to the kingdom you learn that the more i goes down the more glory rises and i jesus if i be lifted up not you john said that i will decrease not just him that self i decreases and that you increase james chapter one verse one and two self-centeredness is one of the biggest tragedies of eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil james chapter three
gave us 14 and 15 the bible says something very instructive it says listen but if ye have bitter envyings and strife in your hearts glory not and lie not against the truth 15 it says this wisdom so there is a wisdom that is as a result of self and greed and bitterness my selfishness and my greed can make me act in a way that looks like wisdom but the motivation are we together now the motivation for that wisdom is bitterness self-centeredness the bible says that kind of wisdom descended not from above remember the knowledge of the good of good and evil it says but is earthly is sensual and is devilish so simply because i want to be the one to shine i can say sam um because there is a gun inside that room i say sam why don't you go to that room and go and help me carry a basket but the goal is so that he will be implicated so that he will get out of the way for me to shine alone it looks like wisdom but the motivation is self-centeredness the bible says that wisdom is devilish our world today and sadly even in ministry is full of self-centeredness romans chapter 16 quickly please verse 17 and 18 while i was studying this i found this scripture and it blessed me tonight is a very strong admonishment and i want you to listen carefully 16 and 17 okay read with me one two go now i beseech you brethren mark them which cause what division and offense contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and do what avoid them next verse for they are such that serve not our lord jesus but they are and by good words and fair speeches they deceive the heart of the simple your bible so i can be looking for money and i can say do you know what um the lord gave me a prophetic instruction that all of us are going to do this and that and that all of us are going to raise to 2000 and come and touch my shoe and your life will change and god knows he didn't give that instruction i just calculated that if there are 5000 people here and everybody gives to 2000 highest plus or minus i've already done the mathematics and then i come and say oh god said no their belly is their god their belly a man's belly can be his god meaning you can serve your stomach It's amazing what people do so that they can feel satisfied and don't care the effect on others and on the kingdom. That's why people can kill. I can look at this gentleman and plot with an assassin. Look at this, this touts around that steal phones and do all of that. They can come and cut someone's hand cut someone's neck to collect a phone of 25,000 and go and sell it 5,000. That is self-centeredness at work. The amount it would take for that victim to treat himself or herself may even be more than what they sold that phone for. But because they need to smoke now, everybody, even if it means death, listen, the moment the comfort of people does not become a factor for your consideration in your desire you are self-centered i want this it must be my way brothers we want this i'm the man of the house it must be my way i stamp it ladies i'm the woman of the house I'm not the one that married you. You are the one that married me. It must be my way. And the naughty children come. I'm not the one that gave birth to this. They say their own. Selfishness. 
Are we together? <laughs> Who Jesus himself stripped himself of his glory and came to the earth for God so loved, not himself, for God so loved the world. I have loved thee with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Selfishness. Lord, bless me so that everybody in my family will know that I'm not a small man. My elder brother will shout in, Lord, bless me. Let me disgrace somebody for you. And God says, me? What do you think I am? Your mate? God sees my heart and I stand before you. I say this. I don't know how many things I do in my life considering myself as the chief benefactor. God is my witness. There are things I do for people today that I sit down sometimes and I think and I say, Kai, you man, now I will. I talk to myself, I say, now for you, Joshua Selman. When you do not have a heart for God and people, are eating of the tree of life of knowledge of good and evil the tree of life takes the attention from you to others are we together now as a preacher if your whole church is around you what you can get from members how they can clap for you then that means you're in trouble let me tell you true ministry is not about the preacher it's about the blessed people that God brings so that they are raised, so that they are equipped, so that their lives are blessed. I sit down here many times and I fight tears when I see people stand to testify about the marvelous things that the word of God did for them. Listen, I have found out that there are not many things that are important in life. Did you hear what I said? I have found out that if you walk with God's ways, there are not many things in your entire lifetime that are really important. The complications that come, that our lives bring, are a web that the Babylonian system created for us. So we have depression. Go to the village. You will hardly find people with high blood pressure. For some of them, it's because they are not enlightened. But for some of them, through the wisdom of the ancient, they know the things that really matter. Did you know that when all is said and done in this life, there are not many things that are important. As busy as we are, 6 o'clock in the morning, we're on our way going. 12 o'clock, we're on our way going. We do this and kill ourselves trying to eat, trying to gain relevance. I must buy the suit of 200,000 so that they will know. And that self-inflicted pain leads you to do things that you have no business doing. The moment you buy the 200,000 naira suit, the person you want to wear it for, you hear that they've made the person a senator. And you feel stupid for laboring for one year to prove a point. Listen, I have seen people who died trying to impress others. I've seen people who died trying to create something in their life that it was not part of God's template for them. Meet a man on a deathbed right now and tell him what do you desperately want. He will not say an estate. He will not say I need an extra wife. He will not say I need a male fast. The only thing he will cry for is give me more time. That means time is the most valuable thing. And if God ever gives you time, you have everything. But we can waste time to look for what is less than time. God gave you time to serve him, time to love him, time to seek him. 
we were on our way going to um, I think it was while we were going to movie while we were going to the airport I was talking to my people and I told them I said guys do you know that this you people's thing that you have forced me to buy has reduced my productivity by at least 10 percent and they were amazed I said I don't have a problem with it but um, you can sit down with somebody for 20 minutes and not even ask him his name because someone else is talking to you and the person who is talking to you can even have gone to be with the Lord yet he's talking to you and somebody that is alive that can help you now you see that everybody people have had accidents typing text while driving people have done all kinds of things you see someone stand by the roadside shouting alone and just nodding with the ear please. These things are turning us into fools. We have to remind ourselves that we are the highest of God's creation. I'm not against excellence. Don't get me wrong. But something is critically wrong that we must trust God for. It's a mind control system. It's controlling us. Right now when you stand, people look at you and they look at the phone you are holding. They see one kind of thing. They say, okay, you can stay there. That's a society that is depraved of the formula. So it puts pressure. Someone who is busy saving money for something is under pressure. Let me carry this. There are some you. I, I thank God because he doesn't allow me to read the prayer items of miracle service. I'm sure I would have edited some before presenting them to God. I said, this is nonsense. God, please don't waste your time. There's a crucial issue here. Someone is dying. Leave this iPhone issue and kill the person dying. So I can go to the place of prayer and spend three hours. And that three hours is not because I love God and His purposes. The three hours is because I'm manipulating the hand of God to meet my need. Oh God, if you give me a good job and you give me an iPhone, Lord, you too, you know you'll be glorified. And God says, how? How? Present your cause. There's no problem. How will I be glorified? I said, well, Lord, they will respect me. And say, have you, have you found out how many times you mentioned your name in that equation? I said, no. I'm not a careless God. I don't waste. And yet another person is doggedly involved. I said, Lord, I know. There is nothing that I have that is not yours. And while he's talking, God is telling someone, give him the latest iPhone every year. He said, God, I don't need it. He said, me, I want you to need it. That's God for you. It's amazing how God can take someone else's prayer request and give another person who really seeks him. Please, when you go to the secret place, don't waste your time. Learn how to get God's heart. Nobody comes with his heart without his hands. If you invite my heart, my hand will follow. If you invite my hand, I can keep my heart far while my hand goes. Get his heart and you will see what his hand will do. It's the hand that will remove the heart and put it for you. But with that heart will come more than you have ever imagined. I see God do things in my life and I see God do things in this ministry that sometimes... This God, Ba, I want you to believe him. I will never bow to Babylon. It's a corrupted system. I have seen the fallacy of this system. They are arrogant. Even one hour to their destruction, they will still be arrogant. They have deceived many people today. The Babylonian system has made many people to go to hell. Are you aware of that? There are people who would have been on their way to heaven, but a system deceived them. They deceive many of our parents to not love God. They embrace education, but they left God. Believing that they will be on their job forever, they forgot that demons are still on earth. While they were promoted, their inability to be connected to God didn't give them the opportunity to make exploits. And their lives are almost miserable today. Young people lie to themselves. If you take this and smoke this, you are a man and it sells a system and you embrace it. Let me tell you, I introduce to you once again 
a system that is superior may be controversial for a while but the results are like day and night you will rise above mere men and watch life in wonder yes it's true i've made my choice i really have i'm not going to run my life based on a depraved system that has no respect for god i will not make money at the expense of my relationship with god no sir that is devilish money and god are not the same i will never allow any brilliant financial expert make me believe money and god is the same no in the beginning god not dollars in the beginning god not naira in the beginning god not nmpc in the beginning god not abu in the beginning god and he says he's omega too so whatever happens in between i'm sure that he's still there i live a very happy life truly speaking and i live a very peaceful life do you know why because i have learned in my life there are very finite things i'm doing with my entire life the things i'm doing with my life they are not many these are the things i live for these are the things my entire course on earth will be for i don't have time to waste on nonsense there's no time wasting to prove any point high blood pressure if they tell you i have high blood pressure well pray for me but i don't think it's true i sleep like a baby i wake up happily this is the day the lord has made i rejoice and i am glad in it wake up tomorrow morning and stand by the road and see the anger of people he's alone nobody's on the road yet he's already angry honing alone and angry this wicked world why is life like this and god says come up to me say no god stay out of my life and others even say it's because you came into my life have you heard people say that if the devil ever puts that thought in your mind my brothers and my sisters cast it that is because god came into my life that's why i'm not lifted if it was not this god thing i would have quietly bribed my way i would have been in nmpc now and people regret and make it look like god you are a disadvantage Bazankoma, 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 Nina, yes, Bazankoma, 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 children based on your own convictions if you don't fear God you can't make your children fear God they will fear what you fear you fear money you will raise your children like that whatever you serve is what they will serve you say as for me and my house as for me and my house I've made a choice I want you to join me make this choice make this choice as for me money will not stand between me and God fame will not stand between me and god this devilish system it doesn't mean we should run away from the world we cannot we are in the world but there is another philosophy listen we are praying in the world sam come if sam offends me the world teaches that sam has offended you an eye for an eye make sure you do something that bends him so that he will know but when you come into the kingdom it says to even pray for those who despitefully use you now you do that let me tell you what the world calls you mumu that's the name that's the name invented for those who obey god that far when you obey god that far the world created a name for you everybody will be taking you for a ride you are doing like an idiot revenge share. and bible says vengeance is mine and you are thinking do i do i do something for sam david had the opportunity to kill Saul, and he left Saul. And, ah, david yes your chance david said it doesn't work that way there is a pattern it is god that lifts if i lift myself i will keep myself in the palace give that's the pattern of the kingdom 
the wall says take such his pocket remove everything and make it your own that's how you rise and that's the way many of us have taught you can inflate school fees daddy they've increased our school fees to 120,000 print some letters that are a lie and they give you and you say smartness that's what the world calls it in this kingdom we call it death because God's system of justice will catch up with you for sure are we together we are going to pray tonight is a wake up call that you should stop eating from the tree although it looks like it has good there is a more excellent way the tree of life an ideology and a proposition that is superior by far you will live long and live happy you would give and people would think you're a madman yet you are happy because you understand the system that your children surround your table they don't run away from you like you run away from your parents they come to you and love you that you can lock your house morning till night with your family members and say today we are worshiping God in this family not no time no time I need to make ends meet I need sharp sharp I need money there's one money somewhere and God is saying settle down God no 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 my the, the person has called me to come now I need to come a man can receive nothing intelligent people hear me on your own understanding he says in all your ways acknowledge him I am aware that I'm not very smart in myself I've given up on my own intelligence outside of God that's why I need him like a matter of life and death and I say Lord if you do not speak my intelligence is too frail to give me the results that I seek these are the kinds of people that he loves when people stand and say apostle joshua selman i remember that in this kingdom there is only one person who is glorified it is in his being glorified that you are also lifted and then i turn i say lord jesus this is unto you and they say no shine i say no we shine by letting him shine then he reflects his light on us that's how we get our own we don't shine and turn our backs at him say lord i have brought you this as a trophy and he says you are doing this for me then I will lift you men of God be careful when men begin to clap for you and say without you the world will not move without koinonia you cannot rise I mean come with or without me God's sovereignty remains with or without me his kingdom and his purposes will continue if i die today you will only cry for seven days you will first try to raise me back if i don't refuse to wake up you will throw me you will pray and pray and be tired and one by one you will start going and throw me in a grave and cry one last time and i tell you that will be it you will think your life will not continue i will stand and i'm watching you with the angels and say bury that body and go <laughs> I want you to live a superior life a life that is free from fear if I fail what happens if I fail hey no, if I don't marry what happens if I don't have children no to deliver them who through the fear of death fear have all their lifetime subject to bondage if you want to buy a car today the reason should not be to prove a point Lord I need it for the comfort of my life for my family ultimately for your kingdom and God says pattern complied let the car come Lord I need it have my colleagues have car this small boy that was in SS1 when I was writing work and God said SS1 I was 33 years old when I saved the world I saved those who were also 70 years so if you are using age that carnality in you God will not prosper you and you will sit down there and say my colleagues and their children will come and be feeding you what if you say lord is for your glory and i've taught you how you know god is being glorified in your life whoever takes the shame is the one who has been taking the glory did you hear what i said whoever takes the shame god cannot be taking the glory while you take the shame many of us are so shame conscious we got it from our cultures shame shame Ah, let him take the glory and let him take the shame 
is his namesake is defending not my namesake you enter your sabbath lord is for your glory for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory i will do anything just to see One more time, sing it. For your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my name. I want to be where you are. got to be where you are. Wanna be where you are Gotta be where you are You have tried hustling Why don't you try a retreat? Try it Try it You have tried running around Why don't you get back and say Lord here is my certificate Whatever you do with it, do all I'm tired of applying every job I applied they didn't give me I bring my certificate to the secret place and I kneel before you am I not all yours is the certificate not yours and you lie down there and then you have a dream and you see someone giving you a job and God says this one I am the one giving you I took my hand to show you it's not by the arm of flesh I am the lifter of men I don't know how many times I would drum this revelation there is nobody who is self-made in the kingdom. The idea of being self-made is a secular idea. Everybody is spirit-made. Everybody is God-made. Everybody is word-made. And nothing was made without him. I am self-made is a joke. Of course, when you are talking to secular people, it's okay. But in this kingdom, no self-made preachers. No self-made marriages no self-made wives oh i was beautiful that's why he married me he's a lie i'm a handsome guy working in an npc no sir everything in this kingdom is god the epicenter of the kingdom is christ are you ready to pray i've shown you three things that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil can do listen it will destroy your home it will destroy your life there is a more excellent way is the way of the spirit it's a more excellent way is the way of peace many of us have joy but we do not have peace can i tell you peace is better than joy by far if you have the option to choose between peace and joy choose peace one thousand times before you choose joy once you have nothing in life if you do not have peace true wealth is peace true progress is peace he never calls himself the prince of joy but he calls himself the prince of peace you are here, working miracles i worship you i worship you Releasing destinies I worship you I worship you
so you know he's in a place not just because you believe by faith but there are tokens there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters tonight you are in for an encounter you are in for an experience it's a shift in the spirit and i want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities limitless possibilities do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that god cannot meet you that god cannot touch you let god be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah now, but listen, I learned this from Pastor Benny Hinn. I will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray. Having worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century, Benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of God begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness the infirmity you will think just because you are in god's presence and you expect him to touch you to heal you he will not take something from you that you are still holding back this mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box when she came to jesus the bible says it was made of spikenard pure nard a year's wages she broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship there are people who come with medical reports they come with pain they are just coming to inform god that this is what they are going through they are not ready for the exchange yet listen this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key when you come to god the bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists number two that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him how does he reward there must always be an exchange your weakness for his strength the miracle the testimony are we together now so you must be able to hand over everything here's how the bible puts it all my cares and burdens unto you I that's a part of the song that is powerful lord i come to you with this array of family challenges i'm handing it over to you i don't expect to go empty there are many people whether god touches you or not you will go back full because you didn't give him anything until you transfer the burden the sickness the bible says cast all your cares it didn't say god will do it it is your responsibility to say lord i'm tired of carrying this infirmity i'm tired of carrying this evil report i bring it before you and i cast it down when you are now empty god says i now exchange that which you have brought for what i have brought nobody comes before god empty and god does not come before any man empty the problem is there must be willingness for the exchange god will not rest upon you when your hands are full when your mind is full listen it is very important you are a man of god here if all you come to give god is frustration of ministry lord the church is not growing lord this and that that's that mm -mm, that's not the issue lord i hand over everything time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him it, listen it's time to take the sickness it's time to take the, all the concerns don't take some and leave some carry everything ah. i cast my crown before the high Yes. 
Listen, when your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office, bring the report from a doctor, bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. That you come before him and say, Lord, if you do not help me, I don't know where the house rent is coming from. We are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family. You may think, listen, you may think because you have always appearing before him, it means you are casting your care. No. You have to intentionally, consciously say, Lord, I don't want this sickness again. Take it. I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure. I'm tired of this life without results. Are we together now? Yes. And one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship. Another way that we cast our care is through prayer. Very powerful. You can pray and say, Lord, take everything. Take everything. Tired of the burden of ministry. Tired of the burden of my family. This is not how you designed me to work. Take it. And then when you are now empty, remember when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Are we together tonight? It does not take God anything to lift you. It does not take God anything to bless you. It does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you. Listen. Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains skip. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer 
is you are going to ask the Lord, listen carefully, you are going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. It says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform, the night when you heal, the night when you deliver, the night when you turn my family around. Is someone praying? This is the night of your power, the night of your glory. Salatas. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory. Manifest your glory, O God. Father, help my own belief. I reject unbelief. They limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way? Can God make a way? You are in ministry. Pray. Tonight is a night when you expand, when you receive. You are in business. Pray. Career, pray. You are in ministry, pray. For your family, pray. Release your faith. Shila barakato salabradigesh. M praka parodo shobrata labaruda selekash. Rakata parada barado selepradisha le kurianda kasalabash. Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, ye have not because ye ask not. You have not because you ask not. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. Ask and you will receive. He didn't say give us any day. Give us this day our daily bread. Listen, when you come to God, it is not only important that you are aware of who he is, but you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for. Every time Jesus would meet with a blind man, a lame man, he would ask them, what do you want? That you are lame does not mean you want to stand. You must be able to verbalize your requests. You must be able to communicate. Listen, I know that many of you have written your prayer request, but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God. Open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is talking to the Lord. Communicate your expectation. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart.
Kala Baruta Shala Bragada Baladabo, Kranta Lato Shala Gradida Baladaba, Rekete Baladaba. Someone is praying, Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the Spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same My life I will never be the same I've touched your grace I will never Please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. You are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the walker of wonders. He's truly a miracle walker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No, no. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what his grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never preach the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never sing the same. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen. Don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen. Because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is all right. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits. 
please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know so the secret is to address the spirits behind it and not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there are we together when we pray and minister to people listen we're, we're a very we're a very balanced bible-based ministry and let me tell you this by the spirit of god you do not help men when you leave the spirits that is back of their situations to go back with them now i know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of scripture this is not what we are talking about we are talking of liberty that is provable that you can walk out before the service is done you are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace You can be a man of God here, greatly ministry, you are anointed, but things may not be working. And you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics, preaching well, that is wonderful. But let me tell you, he said, I desire once and again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. It is not only angels that are on assignment there are spirits on assignment there are demons on assignment there are powers that are on assignment zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 what seest thou four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against judah against jerusalem and against israel that these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head he said but i have sent four carpenters It's a reality behind many families are spirits behind many medical reports are spirits behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits oh, oh, oh.
I shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago. He was in ministry, and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him. And while I was talking with him, as he entered my room, I saw a spirit just entering with him. And I looked at this dear gentleman, lovely, adorable, wonderful person. And I was politely going to hint him to say, sir, the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me and said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open, not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost, tonight in the name of Jesus, every spirit that is not of the Christ, that is back of the situation around my life, my family, my business, my ministry, pray. Hallelujah. You see, the power of God is already touching people. Listen, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real. They are very, very real. Very real. Hallelujah. I have met so many spirits in my life. I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you, they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We're going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First, I want you to bring out now. I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God, I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We're going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. 
except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. All right, we're ready to pray. Please lift your hands. Let me pray now. I'm seeing fire. That fire is coming on people as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As you shout that name, Jesus, I declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives, over bodies, over finances, over destinies, I invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant. It must go now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. One, two, three. I cause darkness by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit. I come against it by the God of Jeshurun. Please bring them out. We release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. Was he praying? My God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Now, I break those chains. Now, I break those chains. Now, over families, over businesses, I break those chains. Now, Separacatobadash. Hallelujah. 
the Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave, the spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare right now, anyone covenanted to the power of the grave, the covenant with death, the covenant with the grave, by fire, may that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave, the covenant with death, I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now, be liberated now, be free now. Hallelujah. Now listen, we are going to pray for the sick, but I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lumps. Growths and lumps. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues. By the spirit of the living God, let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God, in the name of Jesus, I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in. And we will never settle for less. We know everyone here in front in this overflow and all the overflows, I declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now. Pack your load and go. At the count of three, one, two, three, go, 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 go. Out of their destinies now. Out of their lives forever. Out of their lives forever. Out of their homes forever. Forever. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. We are still praying. Now, the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often. I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock. This is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen. I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of the healer tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two. Decide to you, move forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, stagnation.
generation comes to an end. Retro apakoto shala rekete kete kete parus kaba embregeto sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You're Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. This, my, in the name of Jesus, this shade that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. This, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these Bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I would just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No, you are not a staff of First Bank. You are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I'm seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this, my dear brother, mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father is a general in the army. Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. 
all her life, five ladies, no one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. Amen. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families... Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here if it's not. I will pray for everybody. Five families, none, not one person has settled down. Ladies, now, don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended period your whole body starts itching you in a funny way you know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug chloroquine that's what happens to you like physically you begin to scratch your body i must pray for you why is she here please you are the one come madam you too where are you coming from ma you are coming from abuja come we we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? Okay. You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itchy. Listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire, this rope, right down, just like a sword of fire just passed. I don't know who that is for, but in the name of Jesus, let it bring emancipation right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent. Be free now from this demonic, satanic oppression. In the name of Jesus. Our dear auntie, let me pray for you. Just keep her there. Can you hold my hands, madam? I want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names. Help her. Be free right now. I curse the workings of darkness over your body and over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Five families, hold my hands. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is a family now God is breaking the plague of death the power of God is coming I don't know whether they are inside or outside the plague of death is being broken right now there is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death please come very quickly I'll just touch you I don't know why they are here but we have to hurry up very quickly just a touch believe by faith it is over out of her now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus sir where are you coming from I'm coming from Abuja from Abuja yeah. what do you do sir I'm a minister you are a minister of the gospel I want to pray for you where, where, where are you coming from where do you come your state of origin Akwaibu. do you plan to go this Christmas I'm not yet, but I'm not yet. Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation it's not up to listen that's what I want to talk to you I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive but then I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom we anything God shows we cancel you get the point now I'm seeing this man going in a bus and I'm seeing a truck I will not mention I'm not being antagonistic but the truck did not just shift your car it climbed it and everybody gone like that you see when God shows a thing it is because of the strength he has put in his church the power to change it completely are we together I want to pray for you you are very sick and even the surgery has not solved the problem because what I'm seeing is still there please hold my hand sir father in the name of Jesus Christ the son let this man not be given to the sword let him not be given to the grave in the name of Jesus I knock on the door of life and I speak to you sir by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free I fortify you by the power of God's Word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling I speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy continually in Jesus name I pray family of five I need to pray hold my hands Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say In the name of Jesus I lose you and your siblings everything that is an orchestration of darkness I speak by the Spirit of the Living God you are loose now in the name of Jesus I declare liberty I restore dignity and honor what is happening to you I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going down here there's somebody the same thing is happening to someone there the same thing God is doing here God is doing to a lady there I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus please come sir let me just touch you by faith in Jesus name be set free come in Jesus name be set free 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 there is someone I think you are in ministry you are in overflow one the power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now please carry the person and bring the person here we have to hurry up I'm seeing the power of God touch the person hallelujah I'm about to release that grace for speed again Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. 
and I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners, is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation, eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together? Mommy, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Help her, please. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, release our mother in the name of Jesus. Mommy, I command that infirmity, that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just pray for these two people now. This lady, where is she coming from? Okay. There is, it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you. This lady, this fair lady, I'm talking to you. In the name of Jesus, I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. May that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder. The Lord will show you things in your dreams. He will show you things in visions. Please bring our mommy for me. Let me pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, just touch her back for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now. This is not sickness. This is the spirit of death. I command the spirit of death, hell, and the grave. To leave our mother right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Complete emancipation. Complete emancipation in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here. I don't know why, but this is what He's saying. Just right here to the wall. I'm seeing, I'm seeing people's stomach, the abdominal region. I'm seeing things like chains. Just bring those under the anointing as I'm talking. I'm seeing things like chains. These are devils of infirmity. The Lord is asking me to just stretch my hand. Please just allow me do my madness with God here and let the Lord set these people free. Please bring them out. We're hurrying up now in the name of Jesus. Karu salatu ziata. Kariza hashalam barita suba haseketa. Kradu saleto shala saba hasharata ziakata. Rakata barada balakata frata sadebekato shala branda skabariata. I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. <laughs> Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies. One of these ladies with the jerseys. I'm seeing an anointing. I know you are ministering, but this is a miracle God is bringing for you, for your family. One of the ushering ladies. I don't know whether they are inside, outside. I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies. This is, this is liberty that God is bringing right now. Shalus Karita Hasubadia.
in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Shame and reproach is living your life now. Shame and reproach is living your life now. The garment of shame and reproach is living your life now. Why is this gentleman here? You are not the anointing outside? Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come. You, li lifting your hands. Run. Come. Your time of change has come. Where are you coming from? Coming from Ondo State, I'm a copper. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why you are here. Do you know me? That's why I'm saying you just relax. You were in the crowd and God brought you here. Do you know why God brought you here? Because things are not working at all in your family. God needs to turn things around. If I don't pray for you, what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family. But the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Let me pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. What did you study? Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I'm, work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm serving an NGO mm. for HIV in Ondo State. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it, period. There is a grace. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Kashina. Turkin Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year, five years, and put in one month. Is it not written in your Bible that I will restore the years? God does not only restore things, he restores time. Whoever can restore time must be God himself. Are we together? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, parushalata. I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow one, two, three, four online. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. One, two, three, take that grace now. Take that 
restoration I prophesy pursue overtake without fail recover pursue overtake without fail recover in career pursue in marriage pursue in ministry pursue I'm speaking by the spirit pursue overtake recover pursue help that woman please overtake recover financially pursue overtake recover in your influence pursue overtake recover in your academics i pray for students pursue overtake recover pursue overtake recover Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the Spirit, there is a prophetic word, and this is how God told me, it's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. Nah, nah, nah. It will happen by the spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. This is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. Sarkin Sarakuna. There are three more people. That's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind. It's a force of the spirit. The wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him, limited him, limited him. Please help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana. ones that have come out by the spirit i'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet i'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains i lose you now in the name of jesus i release you to destiny i release you to destiny i release you to destiny by the power of the holy ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living god The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes, my friend, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way. And I'm seeing a gate open before you, and night is at your back, and day 
is in your front. I prophesy to you what I'm seeing. And to everyone who connects with this prophecy, I take night behind you and I command your morning to stand before you. I take night behind you and I command the sun to shine before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone lift your voice after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, I am breaking limits. I am moving forward. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Breaking limits. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Palisha la hasakata bragalosia. Ekretus kaba shalada baruti. Embrekoto sholebra hasada balaraba. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke, I just saw fire, just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you, the HICC pastor, a strong anointing shifting you by the spirit, step into a new dimension. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King of Jana, na na na. dimensions we want to pray for the sick now listen very carefully I believe in miracles there are people here who are standing trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives their bodies kite there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here I'm seeing impartations real graces impartations coming by the spirit impartations people are drinking of wines Ima lift your hands I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus hold your hands two of you please help them take that grace in the name of Jesus amplify the grace you step into new dimensions in the spirit the spirit and the power of the word your words from today will be like fire fire refine us fire Sarukin Sarabuna Dan, come. Hold my hands. Grace is given for you to rise. No more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change. Change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen. 
there are things here written that are death sentences there are things written here that will take only God to provide a miracle for there are things written here that are age-long captivities some of them even predate our coming to the earth but there is a name that is above every other name the Bible says wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office, a name, a title. The Bible says that at the mention of that name, everything in the earth, in heaven, under the earth, will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father. I cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two three minutes wherever you are just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I will see them no more forever is someone praying every evil report orchestrations of darkness if it had a beginning tonight is the end pray don't worry for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray Ratu shala grudesi gedi balat. Jesus we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever <laughs> father we bring before you every situation here marital situations financial situations spiritual situations career situations in the name of Jesus we bring them under the covering of the blood every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name <laughs> father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever I stand as one sent by the Spirit of the Lord and I declare receive strange testimonies before this year runs out in the name of Jesus let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies
testimonies are largely answered through men when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form there are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form I'm praying every human agent that must partner with God partner with the systems of God to see to it that this request is granted we compel them by the spirit to do so now in the name of Jesus every death sentence written here in the name of Jesus we cancel it now hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of Jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith. Believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then you could ever stop us. And if our God is with us, then stands before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every wall go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you 
recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessings. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to walk now. 
Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice, the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold. May that grace rest upon you. I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. Says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. It says none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you, as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler, may you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. The remaining weeks of this year, I'm speaking to you. May they be weeks of strange wonders. And finally, let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death, to see to it that you will not finish this year well, to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said, it's all well. It's all well with your household. I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous, it shall be well. Therefore, I speak over you, it is well. I declare over you, all is well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. For all of you who have traveled from far, whether from another nation, right down here, from another city, right down here, you will go back with strange testimonies. You will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly, you are here under the sound of my voice. Please, let's minimize movement. And you are saying, Apostle, I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, 
I've seen the wonder working power of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life. Hear me. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Praise the Lord. Whether you are here inside or outside, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus. It is never too late to reconnect with him. Now, whether you are here, let's minimize movement, whether you are here inside or outside, we cannot close this meeting. This is the last miracle service for the year. Wherever you are, whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three, I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Keep coming. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for today above him there's no other the bible says for god so loved you and me he proved his love by giving not taking giving his one and only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say lord jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe join them quickly say i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen keep your hands lifted while I pray for you father thank you you have brought these ones by your spirit you are able to save to the uttermost scripture says thank you for drawing these ones I decree and declare by the Spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood. I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight. I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. The power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now very quickly there are a number of you um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands. You can follow this aisle or this one, whichever will take you to the same place. Please follow them as we celebrate them. There will be a group of people to just receive you. And Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes. 
and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.